All oh, right, so it's just the screen, okay, that's fine. And the female health. So here we have it people, we got the Xiaomi Smart Band 7, kindly sent by Heka. So this video is brought to you by Heka. For those who don't know who Heka is, I'll let my rather gorgeous looking Ruby explain it for you. So over to you, Ruby. Thank you, LJP Tech. Heka is a newly established international marketplace that is based in Singapore. They are the official brand partners of well-known brands such as Xiaomi, OnePlus, Chewy, therefore you can get a great deal out of these brands by shopping at Heka's website. Not only for electronic products, if you are looking for fashion clothing, Heka is a place to be. Right now, for this Xiaomi My Band 7 Smart Bracelet, you can get it for 59.99 US dollars at Heka while Amazon is selling this for 6 to 9.59 US dollars, so you get the picture. There are tons of goodies available at Heka.com so please do check it out. Oh, make sure you use promo code of LJPTECH10 to get extra $10 off on orders over $29.99 at Heka.com. That is LJPTECH10. Now, back to you, LJPTECH. Thank you very much, Ruby. So this um, Xiaomi Smart Band actually has a very good reputation. I think a lot of people are loving it at the moment. So for this one, which is the latest, I believe, has a crisp and clear full AMOLED display, all-day blood oxygen saturation monitoring as well. Uh, I don't know what that sounds, but it really sounds cool. Uh, rich watch faces, obviously, because this could also be a smart watch function as well. Uh, ultra long battery life. And then on the other side, it says supports 100 plus exercise modes and after exercise performance evaluation. So if you're a very sporty person, this is something that you should wear every time. A water resistance up to 50 meters and reliable sleep information recording as well. Wow. And a magnetic charging. And finally, what I'm impressed about is this logo on the end, which shows this guy dumping rubbish on the uh, trash bin. And I think what this means is that it's an environmentally friendly device as well. So overall, it's very impressive. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Brilliant. Oh, okay, fine. So that's how it comes out. So actually what we have here is the actual smart band. So on the top, we got the um, USB-C magneting charging as described on the box. We got the actual user manual here. So just quickly scrolling through that. That's how it looks like the magnetic cable, the main one. That's how it looks, people. Well, you stretch it and then lock with the tip in the end. On the back, we got all these sensors here. So that's how it looks. So I don't know whether it looks exactly the same as the predecessor. So this is a front, pretty minimalistic, sleek look. You could actually see the reflection of the edge of the display. But I got a big problem here, people. How do you actually turn it on? Where is the main switch? Okay, so on the instruction, there's a QR code. So let's scan that so it leads to an address which basically is the um, Mi Fitness. So let's download that and install it. Oh, look at that. So I have to type in my height and also my weight as well. Okay, so I'll get on with that. Here we go. So the Xiaomi um, Smart Band 7. So um, hopefully you'll be looking for it. Right, so after connected to the USB charger, you can see all the display popping up. So if I were to click on that, it says download the mobile app, which I have already done. You know, the thing about Xiaomi device, I mean, this is the second one that um, we've gone through, but it's quite thorough with all the information, how it obtains and then pass on and so on. So that's really good indeed, isn't it? Now, let's see what happens here. So, uh, Lots of personalization. Okay, next. Yep, notification. That's very good. That's what smartwatch is for as well. So this actually is pretty much way more superior than the smartwatch, isn't it? Um, recommended feature, app notification. Yep, incoming calls as well. So that's what smartwatch does as well. So is it potentially going to replace my Tag Heuer? Um, more than a thousand US dollars worth smartwatch. I'm starting to get a not easy feeling, okay? 
Um, but anyway, so yeah, settings. Yep, go for accept my fitness. Okay, so you can actually choose any of the notific notification you get out of these. Oh, Gmail, why not? Yeah, got it. And so you can choose some of your default um, apps. So allow and also um, access your phone call logs and for contacts as well, why not? And allow all of that as well. So I'm really exposing myself. So now you have to, okay, so go for 400 calories. This is, no, I, I like 10,000 steps actually. Stands, oh, okay. That sounds quite a lot for 12 hours stands. Let's go for three hours and that's all set up. So there's a lot of setup that needs to be done and after that you have to update as well. So let's download the update. Right, so looking at the actual app side, you can actually choose the um, ban uh, displays as well. So online you get all these lavish sort of look. That, those are really cool. Uh, let's see if I actually like any of them. Actually, I have to say that's not bad. So let's apply that. So you need to install the updates it's actually there's a bit of a vibration and that is how it looks so that's very cool isn't it i like that so every time i do that you get the time and also the battery level as well and then if we go to app notification we could actually choose it on but there are some other things that we just gone through early on we could do that oh what's that wake screen as well okay and receive only when phone is locked Okay, so there's a few other options that you can do. Now on the incoming calls, you could actually have vibration or reply with message. Oh, that's cool. I know you could do it on a smartwatch, but this is a smartphone, but this is actually quite cool as well. Uh, delay the alert. Okay, do you need that? Okay, time and reply with message. I might actually try the reply with the message and background permission. So your phone, you can actually um, allow the background permissions as well um, and also the heart rates let's see if this okay so this is actually continuously going to monitor my heart rates that's cool um, and what, what else was that heart, high heart rates so it will alert you if it's too, either high or too low um, sleep as well sleep monitoring so act, advanced monitoring wow breathing score as well so how does it actually Okay, breathing score. How does it actually monitor my breathing score? That's very cool. Um, blood oxygen. This is something I'm actually very curious about. I don't know how it's going to provide stress. I'm always stressed. So all day monitoring. Okay, so stress standing as well. I, I'm just going to do three hours. So DND. Okay. Um, goal alert. So yeah, obviously a lot. So there's alarm, events, weather, widgets, sort apps, raise to wake, vibration, night mode, find device. Though that find device, I know a lot of people find it very useful, which is available on your smartwatch. Um, but discoverable mode, um, share heart rate data, yeah. Language, what sort of language is there at the moment? Can I actually change it to Korean? No, this is actually mainly for European uh, version, as you can see. Um, pin, you can actually add pin for more restriction, pairing restriction, help center update and about device as well. So that's pretty much it for the app. So to the actual smart band, if you actually scroll it left to right, that's actually the video that I've been watching. So you could actually do a bit of a control and that's pretty much it, isn't it? But if I were to scroll it top to bottom when I'm on the main screen, that's just checking the notification and on the actual if you scroll it bottom to up, that's the vitality indicator. So let's click on that one. So that's just basically showing, summing up all the workouts that I've been doing, which is pretty much zero, but I'm sure as you do the workout, it will show later on. And then the heart rate, let's check out my heart rates. It tends to be quite high. So do I have to keep it calm? Okay, so 128. Is that good or bad, people? It's quite high, isn't it? And then we got the PAI. What is that? Um, okay, so you could do settings and description on that one. Oh, the oxygen one. So let's see. Ah, see, 95%. Is that good or bad? Please let me know. Workout, so there's outdoor running, treadmill, cycling, indoor cycling, walking. What's this? Indoor walking, swimming, rowing, elliptical, jumping rope, <laughs> yoga, dance. 
So this is the highlight of this whole thing, isn't it? The indoor fitness, um, soccer, badminton, all workouts. So those are all the list dance. So you can actually scroll on and on and on. And there's three other works. Oh, archery, gosh. Okay, and getting on the horse. And then the history, workout status, stress. So let's have, check out my stress level, which I believe is pretty high. Okay, so that's more of it, which is what I consider not an accurate one, but I'm a bit, yes, I, okay, fair enough. I'm a bit high. So yeah, doing YouTubing is not really a pleasant thing. It also creates a bit of a stress, just so you know. Uh, sleep monitoring, so if I click on sleep, this actually monitors it, so I don't think there's much to share until I actually fall asleep while wearing this and wake up. So I'm apologies for that, for skipping that. You can actually check the local weather as well. So connect that music, which is just the controller, isn't it? That I showed you early on and alarm and settings and more. If we click on more, it's like a flashlight. Okay, let's check our flashlight, shall we? Turn on. All right, so it's just the screen. Okay, that's fine. And the female health. So track your menstrual cycle. Ah, okay. So those are the things. Um, breathing, stopwatch, timer, find my phone, uh, event reminder as well. So there are tons of more of features than the actual Tag Heuer watch I have here. But unfortunately, there's one crucial thing missing, which is that Tag Heuer smartwatch actually supports the contactless payment. Well, I don't think this one does. It would be quite nice, then probably that will be a big step, a big temptation for me to lean towards to the uh, Xiaomi um, Smartband 7. But then again, why not wear both of them at the same time, you know? So this Xiaomi Smart Band 7 seems to be a really clever device. It actually has so many functions that you can apply to, especially if you're a person who likes to do a lot of activities like exercising and so on. This is a perfect solution for you. Unlike the smartwatch here that I got tagged for a rather expensive smartwatch. But what the whole point is that do you actually need a smartwatch uh, in the first place when you actually have a really brilliant functioning uh, smart band because it's more sleek, it looks almost like a band, again, like the name it says, and it comes with so many different functions. And I think that's why Xiaomi Smart Band Series is, has a really fantastic reputation. Now, the only thing that if I have to have a go is that where is the override button? I couldn't figure it out. I think the only way you could actually do this potentially is by plugging into your wireless charging port and then you'll probably be able to do something about it. But I have seen some of the devices actually get stuck in the past. Um, so what is the solution to that? Maybe that's something I need to find out because there is no reset button here as far as I'm concerned. If it actually had the contactless payment, I'll be very tempted to move on from this, uh, to this from um, my Tag Heuer smartwatch, if you see what I mean. And I could nicely put this Tag Heuer smartwatch and put it in a nice event. Um, purpose as well. So those are the things. Or I could actually wear both of them at the same time and then just sort of check which time is more accurate. But then again, both of them are synchronized with my smartphone and so on. But overall, I just want to say thank you to Heka for providing this fantastic device. I'll possibly do another um, update on the usage of this um, smart band uh, series seven by uh, Xiaomi, but if you have any queries, please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best Bye-bye